My name is Karen. Once, longer ago than I care to think, I was a paragon to the dwarves of Orzammar. Caradon? The paragon smith? Alive? Ah, there is a voice I recognize. Shell of the House of Kadash, step forward. You know my name? Is it you that forged me then? Is it you that gave me my name? Have you forgotten then? Ah, it has been so long. I made you into the golem you are now, Shell. But before that you were a dwarf, just as I was. The finest warrior to serve King Valtor, and the only woman to volunteer. The only woman? A dwarf? I laid you on the anvil of the Void, here in this very room, and put you into the form you now possess. The Anvil of the Void? That is what we seek. If you seek the Anvil, then you must care about my story, or be doomed to relive it. Though I made many things in my time, I rose to fame and earned my status based on a single item. The Anvil of the Void. It allowed me to forge a man of steel or stone as flexible and clever as any soldier. As an army, they were invincible, but I told no one the cost. No mere smith, however skilled, has the power to create life. To make my golems live, I had to take their lives from elsewhere. The Darkspawn were pressing in. Originally, I only took volunteers, the bravest of souls, willing to trade their very lives for the chance to defend their homeland. But King Valtor became greedy. He began to force men, castless and criminals, his political enemies, all of them were to be given to the Anvil. It took feeling the hammer's blow myself to realize the height of my crimes. Not revenge. The blow of the hammer opened my eyes. My apprentices knew enough to make me as I am, but not enough to fashion a control rod. I retained my mind. You were amongst the most loyal, Shale. You remained at my side throughout. And at the end, I sent you away out of mercy. I do not remember. We have remained entombed here ever since. And I have sought a way to destroy the anvil. Alas, I cannot do it myself. No golem can touch it. No! The anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! Shale! You fought to destroy the anvil once. Do not allow it to fall into unthinking hands again! You speak of things I do not remember. You say we fought. Did you use our control rods to command us to do so? I destroyed the rods. Perhaps my apprentices eventually learned to replace the rods. I do not know. But if so, then all they need is the anvil to make all the slaves they need. You! Please! Help me destroy the anvil! Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has! Don't listen! He's been trapped here for a thousand years, stewing in his own madness. Help me claim the anvil, and you will have an army like you've never seen! Bronca, you mad, bleeding nugtail! Does this thing mean so much to you that you can't even see what you've lost to get it? Look around. Is this what our empire should look like? A crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn spume? The anvil will let us take back our glory! So it fights with Caradin? Good. That seems right. Thank you, stranger. Your compassion shames me. No! You will not take it! Not while I still live! Bronca, don't throw your life away for this! Just give her the blasted thing! She's confused! 
Maybe once she calms down, we can talk to her. Bah! You're not the only Master Smith here, Carradin. Golems, obey me! Attack! A patrol run! 